Hey guys, what's up? Lost is here, and today I'm bringing you uh, Manuel J. So we're gonna put your last name. Decklist from the uh, Latin American Intercontinental Championship that happened last week. And I just want to say this deck is an absolute banger. Uh, if you haven't tried it yourself, expect great things in the future. I know a lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people are jumping on that wagon. And you'll see that, you know, in the videos, I'm actually really, really excited to play it. I actually bought the whole deck in person. I didn't have a lot of the pieces, and now I do. So I went ahead and bought everything because the deck's phenomenal. So let me just go over it really quickly. It's actually very, very dry, very, very down to the bones, which I love. It's very, you know, it does what it's supposed to do really, really well, and it's phenomenal. So right now it's playing uh, two, two Pidgeys. It doesn't really matter what lineup of Pidgeys you do. Uh, I recommend you at least you do play the 61. You will see that some people do play one or two. Just play the 60. The big one is that if, you know, you happen to have two on the board, and then, you know, let's say you have the 51 and they accelerate, with uh you know SSB on Doxus in any of the decks with three energies they knock two of them out easy peasy that's damage at least when you have 60 health they're able to survive it so I would recommend after doing this just play the 260s I don't happen to have it on PTCGO I don't really want to go get two common cards so I'm not too worried about it for Pidgeotto Pidgeotto is a bread and butter um it's the same thing with Jirachi you only if you know I recommend like three on the board so like two Pidgeys one Jirachi or um, three Pidgeys doesn't really matter you, you're gonna be able to search especially when you get into the later game you're gonna be able to like have like you know 15 cards left and you can drop that even more and Pidgeotto gets really good your bread and butter both Cephalon GX Blazer I don't think I think I've played I don't know how many games I've played and it's funny when you see them played against you I see people Blazer on the team all the time but with this deck there's a spicy tech in here that just makes this makes the deck go blow you know a fireball circus right in the face so Discard a number of fire cards from your disc from your hand makes 50 damage 50 times whatever you discard boom really really strong uh, Jirachi I'm gonna skip a for a second Jirachi is um, Phenomenal everyone knows that you want to start with it You want to put a skateboard on it and it gets really really good and then if you don't have um, A skateboard or they're playing absolute you don't really need to play it down You can use it as spotter for a lot of your discard cards and it's uh, it's good Just one up in the deck get it you're good to go so Victini, Victini is what makes the deck like come back. Um, I love Victini. Um, you know, a lot of times you gotta you're resourcing your fires, you're making sure you have enough to discard, and make sure you have another deck, counting how many you have left, see how much you have prizes. And Victini is there to be like the last push, the last hurrah to get your energies out, especially if you they run out of fire crystals, which happens very, very rarely. You know, I and even I I don't think I've ever ran out of fire crystals, and usually you're going for game. Uh, fiery flint fire flint at three um, some decks are playing four. I highly recommend against it um, most games I'm only playing through two, you know most most decks you're playing the four um, the 14 fires most most ones play 14 fires and um, you're, If you're using one or two of your first turn you're already searching out eight and you a lot of times you are picking them eight Well, they're you're usually drawing in them and then uh, if you pick teeny obviously you'll need the last one other than that I don't think you really need another um Another fiery flint. I think it's good at three. A fire crystal, of course, four. Phenomenal, phenomenal card. Uh, great catcher. Great catcher is good at two. You don't need custom catchers or anything. Great catcher just helps you, you know, with a lot of the matchups that, you know, you want to get something out from the backyard, from the back, and then just take care of that stuff. Um, especially like ADP, you know, they drop something or you know just fishing something up. It's good at two. You don't really. I, if you're playing against a deck that uses that needs it, I re recommend. I have dropped it sometimes, and I every single time I regret it. Keep it at two. Pokey Lily's Pokey Doll. This card is phenomenally out. This card is just outrageous in this deck. I think this what was really gonna. That card is really gonna push it up because a lot of pe a lot of the well, Cephalon players, they weren't playing it. There was just that one Manuel J Manuel. It might maybe Manuel or it might be Manuel. However you say it, or whatever he chooses to be. But um, he, he played it. It's phenomenal. I love it, absolutely love it at three. It could drop down to two, but I'll keep it at, at three because it's just it's another retreat. And, you know, you put it on the front, you know, you want to have Jirachi. It's just safe. It's always a safe card because you always put it on the bottom of your deck because your deck surges and moves things around. It's very, very easy. You laugh at car look at laugh at decks like um the Buzzlord Guz um Nagana Del Guzzlord. You laugh at anything that doesn't have a way to bring up Pokemon, and it's just an absolutely amazing card. So you can do really really cool things with it because when you move put it on the bottom deck it's not considered retreat and so you could just put it on up retreat bam bam shabam you're good to go 
for Poke Gear. I wish I could lower this number because I, I started to walk like back up from Poke Gears because we have you know the tag teams, but you really can't. You need to be searching for your you know you have to search hard for your Professor Elms first turn, and then you know your fire your welders later on in the game. Four is perfect. Heat Factory. Heat Factory is just another little form of digging. Um, it's a good, obviously it's one of the best, uh, field spells in the game right now. Oh, excuse me, stadiums of the game, wonderful. Ultra Space, gotta get out to your Blacephalons. A lot of these decks nowadays are playing, um, um, what's that, Kadox Swell. You know, you put it down, try to get rid of it, at least one of them sticks, try to get Blacephalon. Uh, Professor Elm's Lecture, four, absolutely necessity, just all you need is one. You only need one, and then you can discard it. Welder at four, Welder's obviously broken. Skateboard, skateboard for the um, any your Pidgeotto, your Jirachi, and 14 energies. This deck is absolutely tight. I don't think there is a better version. Um, I, I sound crazy. I play tested the Heatran, the um, the Blacephalon, like the Ditto. You really don't need any of those cards. I think it is 100%. I don't think it's going to get any better. Um, people put the Heatran in. It's just two extra prizes. You start it. It's you, you can't retreat it. You don't play switch you can't you it just sits there it's a free prize same thing with blacephalon blacephalon i think is two energies it just sits there two prizes don't need it um you know if you look at the deck it really especially against tag teams it only is doing it only has four attackers it has the four blacephalon and then victini doesn't really attack he needs just in my opinion just to get the energies back just so you can have that last final push when you're grinding out things with a uh, pokey doll again i think dick is, is absolutely fantastic i think um I'm making actually this video the deck list before, after I played the games and I think I played it like for four hours and I just constant winning, constant winning. So yeah, I'm gonna break this off this video up into like maybe three videos for like the Blacephalon. I'm gonna put things in some tweet so it's just like not baby Blacephalon, baby Blacephalon, baby Blacephalon, baby Blacephalon. But expect great things from this weekend, especially from the Daytona, and we'll see you guys and I'll see you guys in the games. Curious to fight a nuzzle chew deck. Yo, ready made for get to the text to Lurks. It's their first gift sub in the channel. Lurks, is that right? Sorry, I said Lurks. That Lurks, thank you. Welcome, man. Yo, ready, you didn't have to, man. Thank you so much for that gifted sub, man. I appreciate it. Which look. Throw you right there. Thank you so much for the gifted sub, man. It means a lot that you would do something like that, especially with the 10, the uh the other sub you did earlier, man. Thank you so much, man. So I didn't see what this was, but seeing how I see uh, Mewtwo, I'm guessing it's a Mewtwo deck. So this is actually a, a matchup I wanted to play, and um, we actually are going to... Um, I'm afraid of him knocking my Jirachi almost immediately. So I'm going to go and do this. We're going to find absolutely nothing, which is horrendous. We're going to... I think I have to play this, and I have to play this to draw three. Oh. That's what I want to see. So we're going to go ahead and take our... And I'm actually going to put the 60 out if I can. Yo, but thank you, Lurks, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate I appreciate that. Give this up. Thank you so much, man. And we're going to go ahead and pick something up. And we're going to pick up the Fiery Flint. And we are actually... This is why we play this card. We're going to play the Poke Doll. It's phenomenal. We're going to attach that to this. We're going to go ahead and retreat this out and we're going to bring out the Poké Doll. So what happens is we actually don't lose a prize because our boy, our boy, our Poké Doll is in the thing. But yo, thank you so much, man. Ready? I appreciate that, dude. So the Mewtwo, what we're only really scared of is the Deoxys, um, the De Deoxys Espeon. So we're just trying to get him, get that thing off the board, which we might actually be able to do in this first turn. Um, uh, if we do... Well, it just depends on what we get. So we have a lot of cards we're going to be searching for. If this stays on the field, we actually might have a, a really good thing going. So he he welded on first, which is completely cool. And then we got the Pidgeotto. So we'll see where we go from this. We drew the absolute nuts. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so what we're trying to do is he's going to kill the Pidgey, but because of Fiery Flint, we're going to have access to one. So he's going to kill one of my Pidgeys, which kind of stinks. Oh, he's not GXing? 
Okay, so we're going to do this. We are going to remove the Poke Doll. Wait, what? At any time during your before, you may attack. If you just call and put it on the bottom of the deck, that's not an attack. What the heck? That's not an attack. I don't want to do this without... Okay, good. Why, that is a scary bug. Why is that thing there? That is the most scary thing I've ever seen. I was like, dude, that's not an attack. I've never seen that. Oh, we're gonna grab the, the second Blacephalon. Uh, we don't really care about the Great Hearth. Oh. And then we're going to Stellar Wish. We're going to grab a Fire Crystal. That's perfect. So now we can put this down. We're going to Fiery Flint. We're going to discard these two. And we're going to grab all four of these back. Fiery Flint, we're going to grab all three of these back. And then we're going to do this. We're going to find the welder. We're going to welder. We're going to put these two right here. Dude, this one, this deck is so good. I don't care what anyone says. This deck is so good. We're going to retreat out. Yes, we're going to put out Blacephalon. And one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to put out the Jirachi. Actually, I think I will put out the Jirachi and I will put out the yes. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh Fireball Circus. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done. Just like that. 300 damage. <laughs> I'll take it. Thanks for your giant hearth, buddy. You helped me out, bro. The one. Dude, there's our other Pidgey. Two, three. And we have a Fiery Flint. And we have a Great Hearth. We need to get eight. Eight. Yeah, it was a really scary bug. And I was like, whoa, 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 relax. So, he's, I think he's going to go for Tidene. Oh, he's going for Solgaleo. He's going to hit 120. So, we have six in the discard. Six in the discard. So, he's going to hit us for 120. And we have two Jirachis in case he kills one of them. My only concern is he plays the, the Espeon Deoxys, which is three extra energy. So he just needs to attach a Psychic Energy and he'll be good to go. Nine. Oh, now he has nine. There's three. So... We're actually not going to play any more Elm's Lectures. And, okay, so we know we have two left. Um, Let's go ahead and Pidgeotto. 
Pick up another Pidgeotto. Uh, let's smash our, our pledge Pidgeotto on the bench. Uh, let's go to Pidgeotto again. We're gonna get a baby Blacephalon as a discard. So I actually can't kill that in one hit when it comes to that thing. So we have nine. Um, dang, that sucks. Do I have my Victini? I don't have, I don't think I have Victina. We're going to go to pick this up. We're going to Welder our two. Oh, if I draw into the fire energy, I'm in deep trouble. Wow, I just won. That is absolutely disgusting. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Holy garbage can. Oh my gosh. That was absolutely 100% disgusting. Oh my God. That, oh no. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, what did I do? I think I lost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think I lost, guys. He has to deal 120 at least. So he can only kill one Pidgeotto. Guys, I literally just lost the game. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my. I, I need to, I need to clip that. What did I start at? 56. It was like 54. Dude, that sucks. Whatever. I think I can still win. One, two, three, four. I put the three down. I need to get another fire crystal. Oh, okay. Why well, win then? I think. No, I already lost this. So let's go ahead and Pidgeotto. Get that. Let's go and Pidgeotto. Get that. Let's dump this and see if I have it. Anything. I don't have anything. I do have a fire crystal. Okay, I do have a fire crystal. And I have a welder. So I need to put this down. Okay. So if I search seven, I picked up my welder.
Let's welder the two cards. So my reach is farther. Let's put this here. Let's put this here. Let me search. Oh my gosh. So I have nine cards left. I have a 50% chance. Let's play this too. Let's make it even less. So now it's a, a now I have a more than 50% chance. Okay, okay. Now let's do this one for real. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bam. Okay, let's. <laughs> That's just how broke the deck is, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so fast. I have never seen that. Fighting in normal. This might be a fossil deck, actually. If it's fossils. Fossils. Do we have a good matchup against fossils? That's a hard question. I think so, maybe? Oh my gosh, is that a Jirachi? That's... You would think this hand's, like, good, but it's not. Like, yeah, I don't have to search Welder for uh, anymore. Just asking? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I haven't played it in a long time. I don't know what I'm playing. What, whatever this is. Okay. Come on, Garachi. Oh, this is a this is a Flygon deck. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this almost immediately. And we are gonna yo, Professor Alms, one time. Oh no. Yeah, I haven't played DVD. I actually have, I watched someone play DVD recently and I think I'm going to play DVD at some point, but I personally haven't played it in a long time. Um, I do want to play it though. So this is going to be a, um, a type null Flygon deck. Okay, so Ultra Space is really good because I wanted Ultra Space. So we're gonna do that. And we're actually just gonna let someone let let someone wreck us. Uh, yeah, I'm not too worried. We're just gonna use Poke Dolls to take some time. I believe Flygon has, I think, like two, two forty. So it needs three energies, I think. Tag call. Like my champ or something. Ooh. It's funny, I actually played I was playing against someone at my locals and he was playing this flag on deck, the same one when I was playing Abilities Art, and he tried to red red and blue by flag on with his, his uh vibrera or whatever. Vibraba. Oh, that's scary. This is like muy scary as a stereo. Idiot, yeah. So I let this one die because it's not that big of a deal that I let it die. So we're gonna do this. The thing is these guys have no bench damage, so I can actually just abuse my um my what's gonna call it all I want. So we're actually gonna pick up the lecture. And we are actually going to go ahead and get a Pidgey and two Pidgeots. And uh, we are just going to go ahead and search this while we still can. And we are going to retreat, put him out. 
Yeah, Clefairy Doll is really good. And these the decks that like you can't hit back row, it's just so good. Oh, I'm fine. I'm a turn behind. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Poke Doll. No more custom catcher, Poke Doll. So I think what's gonna happen is because they're playing um that what's gonna call it? Oh wow, that's really good. They could play uh, so many cards. So I'm hoping it has 240 health, because if it has 240 health, we're gonna be in a good a good position. Wow, that's really not good. Oh my goodness. Oh, but we have Heat Factory. This would give us another turn. If I heat factory, I have three energies and I have one energy into the discard. Let's go ahead and heat factory first. Let's see what our options give us. Ugh. Yo, A Walker, what's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. So we have. We didn't draw any Pidgets, so we could go ahead and, and Elm's Lecture. So I need five. I need five. So let's go and see what we can pick up. So we did pick up the, we did pick up the Fiery Flint. Okay, so we're going to pick up the Fiery Flint. We could, we could drop the Ultra Space and the Welder. Yeah, well, welcome, Walker. We could do welder onto these three, draw the four, kill it, knock it out. No, we need five. Which is which is doable. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fiery flint the elms and an energy. And we're gonna get we three energies left. What's up, dude? Welcome. So we're gonna go ahead and pick this up. We're going to welder. Two on. So we're a little, it's a little scary because we don't have anything amazing. We do have that. This is good. We have fire crystal. Pick up all three back up. So that's perfect. So we can do five. Um, we're going to retreat. It's a little scary that we don't have Pidgeotas, but I think we're going to draw them to them eventually. And then we need five ones. That'll give us two prizes. Easy peasy. As long as we don't... So we have one Fiery Flint, one Crystal left. The good thing is also we have... Oh, we did pick that up. So we have four more fires in the deck. And we can actually just grab them all right here. Picking up this and this was really good. Okay, so he's doing that, but he, why did, okay, buddy, you know, you have, if you draw it, you destroy it. I don't think that was a really good play because he could have easily just, he's going to have to get rid, I mean, it's power plant, it's whatever, just in case. We're actually going to bring this back up. I want, I want this dead. So we have five fires so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine twelve two fires prized oh wow really so this is going to be a slaughter um i don't think we need ultra space anymore i want to keep this great catcher And I don't want to use that. So I do have three. So that's five. Let's go to Poke Gear in case I get the welder. I do get the welder. Um, 
So let's go ahead and fiery flint the great this great catcher way. Maybe keep that. So we're definitely gonna get rid of a ultra space. And I don't know if I want to get another, rid of another great catcher. I don't think he's gonna be ever be in a position where we're gonna get rid of that. So yeah, let's actually just get rid of the great pressure. I think it's the only time we're gonna activate it. Wow, I only have two. That was a huge mistake. Oh wow, that's that's actually not that good, guys. Oh, we had five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I actually can't. I actually have to save the welder. I might actually have to get rid of it. Oh. Oh, this is not good. I'm actually just going to attach one here in case I don't pick up the other one. All right, cool. That's good to see. I need a card that I can discard. So. I need a card that I can discard. Oh, I can just. So we are going to go ahead and great catcher one, two, and then we're just going to blow them away. Okay. So our next card we're looking for is a Vectini. If I had a Vectini, I would have played it. So we have plenty of time to, to knock out something. Yeah, but Walker, if you're still home, man, welcome, dude. So, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Did he just not draw his Flygons? I think, like, if you're playing a stage 2 deck that's, that's primarily the main attacker, I would probably play, like, 3. So he actually needs 6 energies to destroy, to, to kill. So we have 2 Fiery Crystals left. And we have no in no more in the deck. So 3, 10, 12, 13. We have one fire prize. So 270. So we need four all 14 energies, which isn't enough. So we have plenty of time. So we're going to go ahead and we have 15 cards left. We're going to go to Pidgeotto and we're going to get this, put that back on top. We don't want any more Elms. Elms is dead to us. I actually think we're going to pick up the Jirachi and we're going to place it. So we have the Pokedoll. Okay, so we do have the Victini still. Okay, doll. And then and we can welder. So we only have one fire crystal. I didn't see if there was any fire crystals left. Um and we are going to retreat, yes. And we are going to put out the Poké Doll. We're going to end our turn. Yes. So I'm down. He's playing Custom Catcher. So we need to be able to do 270. We need to find the other, other Fire Crystal. Or we need to find the Vectini. So he's he. We need six. We need six energies.
Okay, scary. So we're gonna do that. Okay, cool. What do we have left? Oh, we have a one Poke Doll. Oh no! Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What am I? What am I doing? I don't even need that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fire crystal. Okay. Who? I got real scared. Fire crystal again. Easy PV. Oh, we're so close. So we're gonna go for ten wins today. Um, we have six days to get to seven hundred. So basically, we have six days to do four hundred points. So as long as we're getting what's what four divided by four hundred divided by six is like what. 360 that'd be six six hundred sixty about 70 points every day about 70 points every day 60 like 65 points will be fine so we're gonna go go ahead go to 10 today and then we'll just call it there so this is adp this is a matchup i've really wanted to play for a while now because it's um it's a, you know, obviously it's a really popular deck so yep oh hell yeah who won? Who got first? Okay. Oh, damn. You hate to see it. So. So, Arcus Talkia Palka. This is going to be a good matchup, guys, because this is a deck, a game, a match I really, really wanted to play, and I believe this deck is really good at it. Okay, so... We actually drew two birds. So I'm gonna pick up these two. Pick it up like this. And we are actually just gonna play a bird right here. We're gonna play a Clefairy doll. And then we're actually just gonna drop an energy on him. What's the chances of this thing attacking me? I actually just might retreat. I'm actually going to retreat on that. Nah, I'm not going to retreat out. I'm not going to retreat out. So if you haven't have, uh, if you haven't already played this deck, it's actually really, really good. Um, it's a lot of fun. This is the matchup I wanted to play. We even started with it. So if he, he knocks my Pidgey out, I'll be a little sad, but I won't really. So I left it. I maybe I should have played the Clefairy doll. Oh, he did. Okay, so he did attack it. So that's completely okay. I'm completely fine with that. And now I can promote the Clefairy doll. Maybe I should have put promoted the player doll. But now he's a turn behind, and we're actually really lucky because he's not going to take any. He, he can't take any extra prizes. So we got this. We got this, and let's see what we can take. So we got airmail. We're gonna take a Jirachi. Uh, we're gonna take another Jirachi. So I'm okay with giving up more prizes here. We're gonna do this. We're going to promote the Jirachi. I'm just looking for cards, man. I, I need cards. Um, I like this welder. And then we're going to go ahead and just grab these two again. 
we're really behind. And uh, we're just going to finish it out. Okay. Here it comes. So we're actually okay. We're actually, I'm actually okay with how things are, how things are happening right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and find our Pidgey and we're going to go ahead and get Fiery Flint because if we get what we're looking for, we can actually just straight up win this turn. Um, we're going to steal a fire. And this is going to scary, man. We're looking for a Blacephalon and we're going to pick up a, uh, escape board. So because we found the escape board, we are good to go. So we're going to play the escape board. We're going to go ahead and sell our witch. And we are going to actually grab a Clefairy doll. Let's see how this works out. And, you know, we're going to kind of just like give them everything. So it says... If this card is knocked out, your opponent can't any take any prize for it. So I was expecting the reset stamp, which is awesome because that's why I didn't want to play my fiery flints or anything crazy. So we end up picking up fiery flint anyway, so that's really really good. I can't ultra space. I want to play ultra space, but it doesn't look like that's going to be able to happen. We did pick it, pick up an extra pokey doll, which is phenomenal. And um, yeah, man, we're actually just going to go for knockouts. So the main AB ADP deck usually just plays. I think. Um, Boom. Uh, we're gonna actually just gonna play this right now. We're going to um, this. Pick that up. That's really good. We're going to Pidgeotto again. Oh, there's our Blacephalon finally. We're going to Pidgeotto again. We're gonna pick up. Ooh. We're going to pick up another Fiery Flint because we only have one Fire in the discard. We're going to next Jirachi. Pick up Heat Factory. Then we're going to... I think Pokegear first. Find the Welder. Oh, I don't want to just drop that. So we're actually going to drop a Poke Gear and a on this, and we're going to pick up a bunch of Fire Energy. We're going to Fire Flint again, dropping two Fire Energies to pick up even more. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to Fire Crystal. Our fires back. Then we're going to Welder. We're going to go one, two, three, two. We're going to put these on our Blacephalon. Uh, we're going to attach to our Blacephalon. We're going to retreat out. Yes. Do that. And then we are going to Fireball Circus. One, two, three, four, five, six. And done. And just like that, we uh, we killed it. This deck is really, really good against uh, ADP. So we're going to pick up another Fire. We're going to pick up a Lecture. And we're going to pick up a another Blacephalon. So we're going to get Reset Stamped. So in this next turn, we're literally going to look for all three Fire Crystals. Um, we have one, two, three. So that's pretty good. I think we picked up... Eight. So we have three left in the deck. So we're not actually going to attack anything. We're going to make things work. We have one turn to make things work. And we don't actually think we have exactly only one thing. One, one. One thing to work. The 
Okay, so that's ultimate ray. Okay. So he's gonna take two prizes. So we have two turns, unless we get a uh, Clefairy doll, and then we have an additional turn. So right off the bat, we're gonna Pidgeotto, and we're gonna steal a Great Catcher. And then we are going to grab pay. Okay, we found the welder. And Pidgeotto again. Ultra Space. Cool. So we found the Ultra Space, which finds the Blacephalon. So we found the this one. So we have three fire. We have two fire crystals. All we need is another fire crystal and four energies. All we need is another fire crystal. So we're going to go ahead and play this down. We're going to fire crystal. We're going to grab three energies. We are going to play fiery flints. We're going to get rid of the Jirachi as well as the Poke gear. And we're going to take our four energies. So that's seven. Uh, we are going to welder one, two done onto our Blacephalon. Okay, we are going to manually attach. We're going to Poke Gear, take this welder out the deck. So we have a 50% chance. We have a more than 50% chance. Spell a wish. And it didn't happen, guys. So we're going to go ahead and retreat. We're going to take out our Jirachi. We're gonna sell a wish and then we're gonna play fire crystal grab fire crystal and yeah we didn't get it but that's okay so we have two fire crystals left so we can't we have made sure to hold on to the great catcher because great catcher is gonna win us the game so we got this next turn The best thing that could happen, I mean, we did put it, but we, he's obviously going to look for an attack. That's like what he's going to do. He's like, I'm, I want to attack him. If this case, we can give him a Fion. We can actually just give him the Jirachi. Or maybe even a Pidgeotto. Actually, I think we're just going to give him the Pidgeotto because unless he he pull, he whips out a reset stamp, we just have to see. Because if he resets us first, we'll be okay. Okay, he played it. He's going to play as well. I think he already played two reset stamps. So I think the Keldeo deck actually plays three. Follow which Freddy made for has been. I've been streaming for about two hours already. Dang, it's flying by. Freddy made for has been following for three years. Four months, man. Oh, 10 months, almost four years. Can you believe it? That's when I started my stream goal, my stream journey. I think this year, 2020. I want to release three videos a week. Oh, and we pulled it up. No reset stamp. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put this in this so when I edit everything, I wasn't saving, was I? I wasn't saving this. So guys, thank you so much for watching on YouTube. I'm gonna continue my stream. I'm just gonna make this one whole video for now. We played a lot of games. I'm gonna go get to you that way, but I realize I'm gonna it's gonna take a little bit more work if I decide to play um online. If I decide to make this a video, it's gonna take more time. But guys, thank you so much. Lolski's like, comment, subscribe. Twitch.tv slash Lolski7.